All right, as everybody may know, today is April 19th, aka Portal Combat Day. I say that because Portal 2 came out and a little game called Mortal Combat came out. And technically, this is an unboxing video, but it's not an unboxing video because I've already unboxed everything because I was way too excited. I'm sorry. But uh, here's basically the contents of what came in it. I bought a tournament edition for the 360, uh, which came with this beefy arcade stick. While it's not a super quality arcade stick, um, I think the creators realized it because it has a little latch under here. You can open it up and it's got a clear case right there with very easy uh, Phillips head screws so you can replace the parts in it. Uh, you can put crap in, I don't know, tasty treats, something. I don't know what you want to put in there. Uh, extension cord to go to the console itself. Seems to be rechargeable. Could be wrong. Uh, it is definitely quality. It's got a cushion on the bottom because they know you are going to be playing with it on your lap. Um, again, this one's a 361. I don't see how there could be any huge differences in the uh, in the PS3 one. Uh, in the box, which is that, comes the game, and then. Uh, DLC costume, Scorpion costume for your avatar, and classic costume for Ermac, his Red Ninja outfit. Um, that's about it. That sold for uh, 150. I'm not a big arcade fan. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. I'm not a big arcade stick fan anymore because I'm playing so long on console that if I really don't like this arcade stick, uh, more than likely this is going to be a giveaway prize for our upcoming contest on my website. So if you're a normal viewer, get ready for that because we will be giving something of this caliber away. Uh, and then the PS3 version that I bought was the, the collector's edition which comes with the two bookends. Scorpion throwing a spear through Sub-Zero uh, which is probably one of the best things that they could have ever given a gamer in a collector's edition because we all have games that need to be held up. So it's only natural uh, that they would give something like this. They're pretty decent quality. Um, they don't feel like they're going to break if you touch them. Like, I know some, let's be honest, a lot of uh, collector's edition things give you real cheap, cheap shit. It, it's usually always shit. Uh, every collector's edition comes with one of these, which is an art book. Um, well... Yeah, it gives you some background on the characters, uh, you know, what they look like now, how they're built, polygon details. I mean, really for an art buff, I really don't give a crap about it, honestly. Uh, this comes with the same type of DLC, um, except since you don't have an avatar like on 360, you get uh, pictures, avatar, avatar, theme, theme, so you get three pictures and two themes which you know will probably run you normally a dollar on PlayStation Network and then uh, you get your copy of the game nothing different between the box arts between the original and this um, obviously <laughs> the box arts a little sexier on the PS3 because it's got the play as Kratos uh, on there and everybody knows Kratos is a bad motherfucker um, yeah and uh, the other collector's edition, while I'm doing it, I bought the collector's edition of the strategy guide. I do have a normal edition of the strategy guide, the regular paperback. Uh, I actually got it early. Um, there's no difference, you know. Uh, in the paperback one, they have fatality cards, which are pretty cool. But in the collector's edition, they have these high-quality character cards that details their moves. And the most interesting part about this is that in the finishing moves, on the other side, there's two blank spots, which uh, I honestly believe that they have brutalities in the game. We'll find out. Uh, I won't do a review until I find out. Um, but yeah, they have one for every character. There's a shit ton of them. Uh, you could literally drop soda on here and just wipe it right off. I'm personally going to frame mine. Um... And yeah, that's it for the Mortal Kombat unboxing. Now, uh, sorry if this felt rushed. If I miss anything, I'll try and come back and edit it. But I'm just way too fucking excited. I need to get uh, online. I need to school some scrubs really bad.
Uh, thank you for watching.